Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, and I know it's been kind of like a little bit since I've made a video. Um, I was just coming out with like a lot at once, and I didn't want to get burned out or anything. So, yeah, it took a little bit of a break, but yeah. Um, today I've got a haul video for you. Um, just a few different things. I've got the latest, um, what is it, Pro Wrestling Crate. Um, there was a sale that Full Moon was having, and it was like... I don't know, really good, like $5, I think, for their DVDs. So, there's that, and then something else. But, I'm going to go ahead and start off with um, the Pro Wrestling Crate. Uh, so, the first thing here, we got fucking Insane Clown Posse. Um, they're wrestling, I guess. You know, they've got the um, their own wrestling company. And then they, they also did the theme song for uh, The Oddities during the Attitude Era, so that's cool, I guess. I mean, I don't, I, I'm not a fan of ICP at all, <laughs> but I mean, it's cool. Um, the next thing, they've been doing comic books in uh, the recent, like, crates. Um, and yeah, this is the lowest tier crate, like 10, $13, I think, shipped. Um, but yeah, this one is uh, an Abaddon-based comic. Um, she's not really in it. Um, but it's cool as fuck. It looks cool. I like horror comics. I like comics in general, but like this one's cool. See, here's a picture of Abaddon though, right there. Um, but yeah, I like I like comics, so that's not a bad thing, you know. Um, and finally, for that uh, box, there is um, a autograph from the Warlord. And if you don't know, Warlord was the guy that was eliminated by Hulk Hogan in like two seconds and he held that record for like uh 20 years for the royal rumble until like santino morella beat that in like 2009 but yeah warlord's cool um he's not like a top favorite or anything but he's somebody you know i grew up watching so it's better than um uh, last month last month they did um it was a johnny gargano pin which i didn't mind a um tyler breeze autograph and then um a ring of honor dvd um, I mean, the Ring of Honor DVD was kind of cool, too, but never been a big fan of uh, Tyler Breeze. Like, the best thing I felt like he did was that match, or I think he had two matches with Jushin Liger, but yeah, I'll go ahead and move on to the um, Full Moon, and um, some of these are my brothers, and then some are uh, my mom's as well, because, uh, you know, it's a lot of movies, and they're having the sales, so we all got a couple. Um <clears throat> But my brother, he actually has a YouTube channel as well. And go show him some love. Uh, I'll put the link to his channel in the description below. And if you want to check that out, go watch his videos. He does horror and stuff just like I do. Um, but first up, oh, my bad. <laughs> we got subspecies. Oh, now it's not loose. I got to fix it. Um, subspecies is probably the best full moon movie because like it's one of those movies that they've made that you can't really it doesn't seem like a full moon movie because it's like it's like up here and then some of the stuff that they make is like way down here <laughs> some down here but um yeah subspecies is great um it's got angus Grimm in it he does uh like he was the tall man in phantasm most famously but um yeah honestly that one is definitely worth checking out for sure over most of the other ones here, especially this next one, um, The Killer Eye. Not my favorite movie um, at all. <laughs> I don't like it that much. Um, I mean, it, it's cool, I guess, like the concept and stuff, other than the part that he just wants to like mate with a woman. So it's about an eye wanting to have sex. Kind of weird. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of um, Terror Vision, kind of like the science y aspect and stuff, I guess. But. Yeah, next up is probably the most famous Full Moon movie that they've made. I've already got the full collection, but my brother, he's got the first Puppet Master now. And that's a classic cover too, you know, you got Pinhead, Tunneler, Blade, Jester, and Bleach Woman. In the back of it got Jester and stuff, but yeah, Puppet Master for sure is a classic. And if you haven't seen that one, you're definitely missing out. Because the sequels are fucking great too. I love the second one and the third one. I like the fifth one more than the fourth one, but those two are like a, it's like a Power Rangers kind of villain, um, from hell, 
and he's like got these little minions that the puppets have to fight I guess um, it's cool though I like it um, the next one I haven't seen this one but it kind of looks like Lucio Fulci's um, house by the cemetery and it's called mansion of the doomed stars Lance Henriksen in it which is like one of the coolest dudes ever from like Pumpkinhead and near dark um, but yeah it looks really good honestly um, it's one of the I think there's three movies here that I haven't seen so yeah I got a few to watch um, tonight or tomorrow or whenever uh, the next one here is witch house and this one um, it kind of reminds me of if Charles Band was able to make Night of the Demons. So, like, you've got demons, possession, witchcraft, obviously. Uh, like, Ouija boards and shit. But I'm always a big fan of the occult and stuff and possession movies. Paranormal stuff. If they're done right. Because, geez, over the last 20 years, maybe, there's a lot of terrible fucking paranormal films. Like, yeah. I, I got so tired of the trend by, like, I don't know if the third Insidious movie, you know. <laughs> but next up is one of the Full Moon's Grindhouse collection. It's another paranormal film. And it says, The Final Challenge of the Exorcist. The Possessor. And this one looks pretty good, too. Looks pretty classic, honestly. Um, like, they don't need to use a lot of special effects or nothing. Just kind of, you know, really based off of, like, real horror and stuff. You know? I don't know. But it looks good. It's another, it's one of those that I haven't seen, you know. Uh, the next one I have seen, and it's honestly insane. Um, it's called Meridian, and it's about like a like a carnival that's like led by um, Phil Fancario, the um, little person from um, Troll and uh, Land of the Dead. Um, but yeah, Meridian is great. Um, it's like a werewolf that is like trying to. Find a lover, kind of Beauty and the Beast style, but that it's one. It's another one that if you were to watch it and not know that Full Moon made it, you would like have no idea, like at all, because it's fucking amazing. Honestly, it's really good. It's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, the next one here is Attack of the Fifty Foot Cam Girl. I actually got to see this one on the big screen for the uh, premiere at Texas Frightmare Weekend. And I got to drink some beer with it and hear an introduction from Charlie Band himself and Ivy Smith. I actually have her autograph. You can't see it, but it's back there behind me down kind of lower. But yeah, um, pretty good. It's very in the vein of uh, the classic kind of 50s and 60s um, kind of monster creature features like the models and, you know, the miniature models and everything. But it really does good, too, because there's not much like... There's not really gore or anything, you know? So it really relies on the illusion that she's actually, you know, 50 foot. And it's great. Like, I, I really dug it. It was fun. I mean, I was drunk, though. So, yeah. But, it, yeah. Definitely excited to rewatch it. <laughs> um, and then the last movie here is called Dream Maniac. And it definitely was capitalizing on the hype of um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Cause on the front here it says you don't have to live on elm street to have a nightmare and i mean it, it looks good it's like a it's probably i think it's probably a slasher um but yeah I, it looks insane honestly because i've never heard of it <laughs> and um i got one more thing here and it's tiffany from 1998's bride of chucky um her hair is a little messed up but it's okay um I've got a like a 10 inch or something, the, the big Funko Pop of Chucky and then I've got a little one right there, but got the movies and stuff and I don't, I didn't have anything Tiffany, so, and I don't want to spend like a hundred dollars right now to get like a, um, the Spirit Halloween one or like $500 to get the fucking Trick or Treat Studios. So this one will do for now, honestly, like I really dig it. It's cool. It's, uh, it's, I don't know. Yeah, I like it. I like Tiffany. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for today. Um, I thank you so much for subscribing, liking my channel. Um, if you want to see more, uh, just comment and subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell. If you want to get notifications for whenever I do upload, um, also check out my brother out again. It's his channel is going to be linked below. 
Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and until next time, see you guys later.